Well, hello. This is kind of just a uh, impromptu kind of video. I kind of want to do a few more of these, probably just to kind of mix in with uh, some of the more more high effort videos, I guess, just so I can upload some more stuff to the channel, so it doesn't go, you know, three months without uploading anything <clears throat> or a year and a half. So I think like two weeks ago, I bought this Radeon X850 XT uh, off eBay. Uh, actually from the official Vision Tech uh, eBay store. I got it for $30, which is a pretty good deal for one of these cards. Uh, it is PCI Express. If this was AGP, it'd be like, probably like $200. And you know, I was expecting it to come in like a plain cardboard box. You know, not like the shipping box, but like the actual graphics card in a plain cardboard box with like nothing else. But like, this showed up. And it's sealed. Now, I don't think this is a actually brand new card. They didn't advertise it as such. And if you look at the back here, I mean, it's pretty barren. The copyright date does say 2005. Now, this card came out in 2004. So I'm guessing this is maybe like a refurb or like a return unit or something. I don't know why Vision Tech all of a sudden just randomly started selling these on their eBay store, because they had like over a dozen of them. I don't know if they still have any, but yeah, they eBay said they had over a dozen. So we're just going to crack this open and just kind of take a look at what's going on here, because I'm, I'm pretty curious. I'm going to do this uh, pretty old school uh, YouTube unboxing style by... Uh, Uh, the minimal editing and everything. So, uh, I think I'm scratching the box a lot. Oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's just, uh, like I said, I don't think it's a actual retail box. The cellophane is not really what you'd expect for like a new kind of card, but then again, I've never opened like a new graphics card from back in the day. Cause I was like three. I wasn't building computers yet. I'm sure this tech not gonna pay like 200 bucks to get some new old stock card. All right, so the wrapping is off. So I guess we'll take a look at the sticker. This is actually a sticker. I couldn't tell with the plastic on it, but this is like just like a label. So yeah, I guess as I'm opening the box real quick, uh, give a little history of this card. So this card came out in 2004, I think towards the end, 2004. Uh, competed against the NVIDIA GeForce 6800 Ultra. Uh, there, this isn't the fastest card from ATI of the generation. That would be the X850 XT Platinum Edition. Uh, however, those are pretty hard to get and I think it's only like a... It's a very small clock boost. So... There's not really much point. Might as well just get the sl the much cheaper card and just overclock if you really want the few extra megahertz. Yeah, this card was really good back in the day because uh, it was a lot faster than the G4 6800 and in most things. Uh, stuff like, except like Doom 3, I think, was kind of the exception. Also didn't have Shader Model 3.0, which was kind of a kind of an issue. It wasn't a massive issue, at least until for a couple years later, but you know, some some people complained about it. Here's the inside of the box. It's surprisingly dirty. I guess it's like whatever dye or ink is used by the uh, this inner box. I kind of like doing these uh, sort of simple videos because I don't have to edit anything really. Wow. All right, so let's, let's, there's nothing, nothing here. Another thing I, I don't know if I shook this earlier, but it's kind of just shaking around in there. <laughs> I don't think I like that very much. Okay, well, at least there is some inner cardboard. And here we go. Oh, wow, it's a lot lighter than I thought it was. So I have an X1900 XT uh, because 
I've been trying to collect a lot of these higher end cards from like the mid 2000s while they're still affordable. And that one's way heavier than this. So it's a lot, it's a lot shorter as well. So uh, so we have the one in the static bag and there she is. I don't know if I like this better, the design better than the X1900. Maybe I do, because you can see more of the copper, which you can't on the 1900. I do think the reference 6800 Ultra looks better. <laughs> I don't know, something about it just I think looks better. Uh, this uh, fan I know is quite whiny, the, the 1900s that way as well. So we got VGA, DVI, and uh, analog, like TV out, like S-Video. And uh, can't tell, I haven't touched the metal, the back at all. It's a little bit scratched up, like some of the metal here on the back. I don't know if you can see that, but that kind of makes me think, yeah, this isn't new. This was probably like a return unit, or like a refurb that they just kind of slapped back in this box. I have a feeling though it's been in this box for quite a while because like the box said copyright 2005 on it so you know I don't know they've probably been hanging on to this for a while in their warehouse or whatever there you go X850 XT 256 meg version I want to say there's a 512 I'm probably wrong but I want to say that there is so, I have no idea if the paste has been redone on this. Probably not. It's probably okay to test for a few minutes. You know, it's not like the Radeon 9800 where you turn it on and it basically dies within like 30 seconds because the the way that that... I love those cards, but man, that was a horrible cooling design <laughs> for those things. So, uh, we're missing a chip here on the back. I don't know what that's for. I don't know what you would solder to that. That's interesting, but uh, six pin power. This was like the first year of uh, PCI Express graphics cards. Would be really cool if this was AGP, but again, I don't want to pay ludicrous money for it. What does it smell like? It smells like nothing. So yeah, it's probably not new. <laughs> It doesn't smell like anything, it's probably not new. Oh, we got a manual that's all crushed up. Oh, there's a disc. A driver disc. Ooh. Vision Tech. 2D, 3D accelerator, driver 6.4. So I guess it's Catalyst 6.4. I didn't know this supported 98. I thought ATI stopped supporting 98 with uh, the R300 cards. So like the 9800 and stuff. I'm assuming this implies first edition as well, because it has 98 SE next to it. That's <laughs> that's insane if it actually does support first edition, because I think most people kind of moved to second edition if they were still using a 98. 2000. Maybe I should build like a 2000 machine or something. That'd be an interesting use for this card. The disc looks not quite new. There's a little bit of pitting on it, but but hey, that's it's cool. Catalyst 6.4. That's probably not. That's probably an okay driver. So uh, you know, ATI was not always known for having the best drivers. We have the manual, which is not in focus. It's very cheap feeling. <laughs> Do not return this product to ATI. Oh, oh wait, no, it's saying not to. Oh, it's saying to return it to ATI, I guess. Or at least to contact them. Wow. <laughs> wait, what? PCI Express card, and it's very clearly a regular PCI card. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, yeah, just talking about power adapters, which I imagine there's a power adapter in here. Oh, this is a newer manual. It has Vista in it. Which is weird, because the CD doesn't have Vista. Huh, so it's kind of a weird mishmash of stuff. And this is in Spanish now, I think. So, cool. Interesting, I guess. Uh, we have a DVI to VGA adapter, which has a lot of pins missing. I mean, I guess you don't need them all, but usually I see them with all the pins in there, so. And we got a. Oh! Here. Oh, we have a. Oh! It's a. It's not S video, but it actually connects to the back of the graphics card and goes to composite. I've never seen that. That's really useful. I do have like a big breakout box uh, that has like components and stuff, but I think that only works on NVIDIA cards because it has a big NVIDIA logo stamped into it. So, you know that. Oh, it does have components. Is this input? No, this probably isn't input. I don't think this thing has video capture support. Yeah, it's dual Molex to 6-pin, because most power supplies in 2004 didn't have, uh, didn't have PCI Express power yet. What is this? It was a full composite cable. And a full, uh... What's well, S-Video on this end? What's the other end? Also S-Video. Oh, can you just plug S-Video directly into the into the card. Am I just dumb? If I never realized that, that you can plug regular S-Video into one of these ports. I guess looking at it, you probably could. Okay, I'm gonna... We're opening this thing up. I have to, I have to see if I've just been dumb this whole time. Oh wow, the cable stinks. But it's like a good stink. I kind of like it. Wait, am I doing this right? I hate that I never realized that. I mean, it's not like I hook my old computers up to, like, S-Video TVs that often, but still, I hate that I never realized that. So uh, let's go see if this thing actually works. I'm just gonna go slap it in some random computer. You're getting the camera pointed at the CRT. Deal with it. So I was put into a, oh boy, uh, the Dell kicked on for half a second. The card is really loud. <laughs> so this is just like a Pentium 4 Dell. I'm not going to show it to you because I want to save it for a future video because it's actually kind of interesting. Uh, where's the button? I can't find the button. There it is. Oh boy. Hey! Uh, the, the, the boot screen hinted a little bit at what this computer is, but uh, I think it'll make a pretty interesting video one day. So we got XP, I think Service Pack 3, I'm not sure. Uh, we, we're gonna use the, we're gonna use the disc it came with, cause... Why not, right? Okay, yeah, it's Service Pack 3, cause the dumb desktop search thing. How laggy is it? Oh yeah, we got no driver, that's for sure. This is a 3.6 gigahertz Pentium 4 with hyper-threading. Uh, so, it's a Prescott CPU. So it's from like 2005, so it should be... It will bottleneck this card a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. So it is labeled with Vision Tech stuff, so it's interesting. We get demos? Oh, we'll have to check those out. Please be patient. <laughs> Please be patient. Get out of the way, Windows. No, I don't... I don't know. Just let the driver do it. Yes, I know you found new hardware. Custom. Uh... DirectX. No, because this should have the latest version already. ETI Parental Control? What is that? 
There's parental controls for my video card. How is there parental controls for the video card? How does that make any sense? Does it just like look at like what game is running? It's like, oh, you're running Half-Life 2. Uh, um, your, your parents don't want you to play that one, sorry. Well, the good news is that the card is at least working in like 2D mode. Okay, went ahead and set the uh, refresh rate to 60 hertz, so it looks nice on the camera. So, it looks like it installed fine. Oh yeah, look at this UI. Ooh, I want to go advanced. Just, just let me use the software. I know what I'm doing. I can save $20 on TV Wonder. Oh yeah. Okay, I was right. It's Catalyst 6.4 uh, graphics hardware. X850 2P6 meg. I think this is supposed to be GDDR3, but... Okay, system information. Oh, that literally just opens the uh, the Windows thing. <laughs> it just says X850 series. It doesn't specifically say it's an XT, but I'm pretty sure these are the XT clock speeds. So I think we're okay there. Uh, let's run 3D Mark 01, just to, just to start off with. Hopefully no artifacting. Okay, off to a decent start. I'm not going to record the whole 3D Mark thing, because that's like 10 minutes of stuff not worth seeing. Okay, so we got 23,000 points. Not sure if that's good or bad. I guess that's probably right. I don't know what the benchmark numbers for this card really are supposed to be. Um, you know, I thought I had newer games on here than this. Okay, so I went ahead and copied over uh, Half-Life 2. Here we go. So this is the original release of Half-Life 2 from 2004, so it's a perfect match for this card. In fact, I think these came out the same month. I want to say the 850 came out in like November. 2004, which is also when Half-Life 2 came out. Yeah, we'll run it at... We'll run it at 1024 by 768. Uh... Let's do like 4x. We'll do like 2x. That, that's probably fine, right? Uh, reflect all, please. Should be able to handle that, right? Half-Life 2 isn't, like, insanely demanding. Oh, I don't have any saves. Okay. I forget what the FPS command is in Source. I think it's show underscore... Or is it, it's like CLS something. Ah, oh, yes. Classic node graph out of date. Developer console. Uh, CL... Underscore show FPS one. Hey, you probably can't see it on the camera, <laughs> but we're in the hundreds. I mean, it's just G Man's face, so I mean, it's not that hard to <laughs> render. So it's in, like, the 60s. Occasionally it dips down a little bit, but... Still pretty smooth, in all honesty. Let me turn on V-Sync so I can actually see, like... Because the counter just jumps around so fast. So, it's... It's not perfect. This is also running on a Pentium 4, so it's probably getting hit a little bit there too, but I mean, this is pretty good. It's, yeah, it's pretty good. I probably have the settings up a little bit high for it, but this is 
it is playable. I can I can totally live with this. It looks pretty good too. He doesn't get upset at that? What it got in the trash can? <laughs> wow. So yeah, it's running good. Alright, so I guess that's going to do it for this video. This is just a really quick, impromptu kind of video. Hope you guys enjoyed these kind of shorter videos, because I wouldn't mind making, you know, some more if I just come across something kind of interesting like this, but I can't really integrate very well into, like, a full-on video. So, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.